done. <laughs> All right, check this out. We got some uh, some action going on. You got some action, Chef? Oh, think, yeah. We've got some protein breaking down, don't we? I think it's time for a stir, time for to add some more sure, ingredients, let's, huh? Let's check it out and see what you think. Oh, we're getting a little thick, too. That's so correct. the heat is what thickens that, right? This is correct. And that was in the roux and the sassafras, the uh, gumbo filet. Those two ingredients are going to thicken your gumbo. So that's what I said. We can always add, you can't take it out. So we want to add a little bit at a time. We want to do exactly what we're doing now. Check it after it comes up to a boil. See where we're at, see what the consistency, and see what we need to do from that. This is coming up nicely. We've got some proteins breaking down. We got a nice froth on the top. We'll be adding more seafood here shortly. We're going to give it a quick taste. You always want to taste your food when you're cooking. And, and you want to season as you go. You don't want to just at the end of the, the batch, you want to just dump a bunch of seasoning in there. You want to season as you go along. Because, like I said, the seasoning is going to change. The flavor profile is going to change. You want to make sure you have a consistent seasoning and the taste as when you have a finished product. You don't want to wait to the end to do this. So this is what we're doing. How's it taste, Chef? Oh my God. And like I said, once we added that fish, the flavor was going to change and it did. It was awesome. Chef John, would you like to try? Yeah. Wow, man. That is fantastic. I got something else. I'm gonna add a little bit more. We'll put some little crustaceans in there. Yes, sir. All right, so we got some uh, some crab bodies. We're gonna throw in there. We're gonna, we're gonna find out where the bodies are buried. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna know here in just a minute. Are there, there any? <laughs> there you go. All right. Aye. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna let this just simmer. We've got the fire lowered down a little bit, and we are going to just let it do its thing. But before we do take any oil out, we're going to go ahead and add everything else. Let everybody get a little bit of that oil flavor. So as you see here, we've got some separation taking place. It's doing exactly what we wanted to do. We're cooking the oil out of the sausage. We're getting our crab bodies, they're starting to cook, as you can see, they're starting to float. Let me pull one up for you, Chef. As you can see, when it, it's starting to, they're already cooked, but you want to get the bodies to heat through. So they're going to start to change color on you. You see, there's oh, yeah. a little pink, pink and red thing, yeah. So, we want that to go ahead and continue to cook. Make it nice and hot. And if there's some hurry. You go and get you a plate full of that. Go sit in the corner. Cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't moving for 30 minutes. That's right. <laughs> but we won't say beer. We, won't, we don't want to condone alcohol drinking or anything, but we'll just call it soda pop with the foam on top. How's that? <laughs> we're going to now add Chef Mike is coming over with some fresh oysters that we're going to put in. And we're not going to strain them, we're going to pull these in liquid. No. All of the fluids and everything. Yeah, keep the liquor in there, huh? Yeah, that oyster liquor. Woo -wee. And then we're going to come back through with our shrimp. Peel and devein. Like I say, all courtesy of Gromer Seafood, Mr. Rick Gromer took very good care of. And what you're seeing here today, folks, A lot of love in the pot. <laughs> mucho. Mucho cariño. Uh, si, si, si. That's how we do. That's how we do. That's gumbo. How we, gumbo. That, that's, South Texas that's, gumbo uh, con mucho cariño, huh? Yes, sir. That's how we do it. 
how we grow here in South Texas. And then see if I can get a spoonful of any of this up here. Awesome. Oh, man. Man. There man. you go, there you go. That is what we're talking about. What do you think of that, Chef? Ooh, that is mighty fine. That is a twenty dollar bowl of gumbo if I ever seen one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Guarantee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Chef. Oh, yeah, yeah. So let the good times roll, huh? Let's let them all roulette. Let the good times roll. All right, so we're adding just a little bit more roux. We're at the kind of the final stages. We're bringing it up to uh, to temperature. Going to let it roll just a minute to thicken, and then we're uh, then we just turn off the heat. We got a little more lump crab meat, some crab fingers to add. We're done. Charlie Brown. Okay, folks, we have added, as you know, the. All of our seafood, except for some crab meat and some more peeled crab balls. We just added a little bit more roux. We wanted to thicken up a little bit more. And as you can see here, Chef, it's starting to break. We're starting to get all of our oil and all of our fats from the other proteins from the seafood. It's starting to break and starting to cook out. So we're going to let this simmer a little bit. I'm going to get a quick scoop here, and we're going to try tasting her again, just to make sure our flavor, our flavor profile is not change too drastically. It is on point. It is exactly where we want it. And I think we're gonna be fine. We are exactly where we wanna be. 